please be good girl okay okay hi everyone it's Sunday so you know what that means it's time for the nail polish lottery club results for week number 13 oh my gosh I just can't believe time was just zipping by um, real quick I'm gonna skim over the nail polish lottery club because if you don't know what it is after 13 weeks then anyway it's what my friend Deanna came up with the great idea of using random.org to pick a number to use for weekly for a nail polish. So the first thing that you do is you make a list, a numbered list of your untried nail polishes. Not all your whole nail collection, just your untried nail polishes. So from that list, then every Monday at the same time, Deanna draws a number from, has a number generated from random.org, and we all are using the same number, but we have all different polishes, and that's kind of the fun of it. This week, the number was 281. Oh, and the other thing, Deanna was keeping track of how many what each person's number was, how many were on their list of untried nail polishes, and some of, there's some crazy big collections. We had like 1,600, 1,400, 800, and instead of drawing like 1 to 1,600 and something, we decided to just draw between 1 and 365. Um, so you're not going to be able to work through your list of untried polishes in a year if you have 800 unused nail polishes or if you have 1,600 unused nail polishes. So that was a decision Deanna and I made. From now on, the drawing will be between 1 to 365 and a number will be generated that way. This week's number was 281. I do not have 281 untried polishes on my list. So I added 2 plus 8 plus 1 equals 11. And for me, number 11 was a Berry M polish. I have my list organized alphabetically by company, and I'm working on organizing the name. So I have my Berry M's are all organized alphabetically. Number 11 on my list was Berry M and the color is denim. It's number 325 I believe um, denim and you this could not be a better name for this polish. It just looks like a good pair of blue jeans. I think it's a great color. This is a different, it's kind of a different formula. It's not a cream formula, and it's certainly not a glitter formula, but it, it's just um, kind of different. And one thing I learned, I needed to let, this is two coats, and I did let the first coat dry completely before I added the second coat. I tried to add the second coat before it was dry and it became kind of like trying to add, it was like I was painting my nails with gum, you know, how you, the polish will drag. So that was the one thing with this one, um, was to just let it dry between the coats. I've had this on since Tuesday. It's really not Sunday, it's actually Thursday. But I will upload this on Sunday and I think it has worn very well. There is some tip wear but part of that is I wash my hands a lot. You know I deal with my mom. My mom has some health issues that I help her with. I use a, um, a hand brush like a it's like a nail brush, but it's bigger, and I just really scrub under my nails and do like in between my fingers and stuff. One time, Jilly, when Jilly was in high school, she worked in the kitchen of a hospital. My ex-husband was the director of the emergency room at this hospital, so when she was in high school, she worked in the kitchen, 
and they did a demonstration one time about washing your hands and then you, you put your hand in this like a blue light and it would show bacteria so I learned from that I happened to be there when they were doing this demonstration and the um, her boss was a friend of mine she let me do it and what if you just wash your hands with soap the regular way and dry them and you think they're clean they're really not you need to like get in between your fingers and anyway so when I wash my hands I use that brush I scrub them I do it a lot I, I I'm kind of like borderline OCD about washing my hands so the and the long the short of this long story is the slight tip wear is because of my constant hand washing and using that brush a lot mm. so I don't blame the tip wear at all on the polish I think it's a great polish I think this is a great color I've loved it. I've enjoyed wearing it. It does have a bit of a um, sparkle, but it's kind of a cloudy day here today, so I don't know if I'm going to get the sparkle to come through, but it kind of does have a little bit of a sparkle. Not much. Not, um, not much, but a little bit. Kind of like you can see a little bit of that shimmer in the bottle. A little bit of that does come through on the nail. There's a little bit of it. It's a really pretty polish and I'm really glad that I got a chance to wear it and this will definitely be in my rotation, my regular rotation of polish to wear. Okay, so that's my polish for the Nail Polish Lottery Club. Now I want to show you guys something. Oh, I bought these little earrings. Um, they're just like little half hoops with three little diamonds at the Salvation Army store for 50 cents. And I took them to get them cleaned because I didn't want to wear them without cleaning them. And I know at the jewelry store I go to, they have a, it's like a steam cleaner and it like would kill all the bacteria and come to find out they're diamonds and they're gold, like 50 cents. Let me see if I can get it out. It's on there. It has one of those, um, like a safety clasps, clasps so that you don't lose them. Anyway, they're pretty. Um, but I want to show you what else I found. Walking along the sidewalk. We just got a TJ Maxx in our town about a year ago. We've had a Ross for about three or four years. In between TJ, TJ Maxx and Ross is a famous footwear and there's a Eddie Bauer. Anyway, I don't go into those stores. So I was walking from TJ Maxx to go into Ross and on the sidewalk I found this. This is a diamond. It's gorgeous. One of the things, my friend, the gold guy, you guys know that I go to yard sales and stuff and I look for um, gold jewelry, 14 karat gold jewelry, and then I sell it. Um, he told me that uh, when I'm using my little loop looking at stones, if a stone is perfect, that is a clue that it is a man-made stone. Natural diamonds, natural emeralds, rubies, sapphires, when you look at them in the loop, you see inclusions, you see cracks, it's not perfect. When I looked at this with my um, loop, it wasn't perfect, so when I took these earrings down to get cleaned, I had Mike look at it. This is a diamond. It's a natural diamond. Um... It's 4.1 carats, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I have an ad in the paper that I found it. I don't, somebody has lost it out of their ring, so I am going to run that ad. And one of the things our newspaper does, if you find something, 
they will run the ad for free so it's not costing me anything and this obviously came from a beautiful ring and I know the person is probably sick about losing it here you guys know I used to wear my grandma's diamond ring and I thought I had lost it and I was sick to my stomach over that and that you know that ring is old it's almost a hundred years old but um so I could just imagine how whoever lost this feels so I do have an ad in the paper running it and I will keep that ad in there and then the other thing Mike at the diamond shop that's the name of the store he is also going to if some one of his customers comes in because they lost their diamond he will call me and let me know because it's a very valuable diamond anyway you just never know what you're gonna see like just I don't know I just looked down I was just laying right there on the sidewalk anyway that's all I have for you guys today I wanted to show you my great find my 50 cent earrings that I just I really like them I'm allergic to metal, so I have to wear 14 karat gold, or um, I can't wear um, base metal type things. And I've had these earrings on for a couple of days now, and they have not broke out my ears. Um, I mean, they're just very comfortable. Anyway, I'm a I was a lucky girl this week, but. I think I'm a lucky girl every week. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day, and thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see everybody's colors this week, and I can't wait for tomorrow at 8 o'clock London time, which is about, I think it's 1 o'clock. It's either noon or 1 o'clock my time. I can't wait to see what the new number is going to be. Anyway, thanks, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.